tradition of pouring libations. I have with me my sister Stormy, who's going to be pouring the water onto the onto the earth. With this representation of the water flowing onto the earth, we here are celebrating the life, the life that we live. But before I get started, a tradition needs to be honored in its fullness. And for that, I need permission from an elder to continue. Thank you. Thank you. Let us breathe. Let us breathe in the air that is life. Let us breathe in the air that is the breath that unites us. Let us feel. Let us feel our bodies. Let us feel our souls. Let us feel the experience of what it means to be here on this land. Let us feel our feet on the ground as we honor this earth, as we honor the, the caretakers of this earth, this land that we stand upon, the Ohlone people. And we give thanks and we say Ashe. Ashe. And we pour some water for that Ashe. Let us be in this moment present with where we are and our connections to our families. May they be healthy, may they be full of longevity. And we say Ashe. Ashe. We pour libations for those that have come before us, for those that have survived the treacherous journey, for those that have escaped the treacherous journey of the being captured in the brink of death. And we say you are survivors and we say Ashe. Ashe. We say Ashe to those survivors who came here and they, within their strength, were able to grow and prosper. And the best way that they knew how to, they had to hide who they were. We say Ashe. Ashe. We say Ashe to those that had to hide who they were so that they could survive. And in these times, those ancestors brought with them knowledge. They brought with them technology. We say Ashe. Ashe to the technology of the African ancestry that is within our bodies. As we breathe, as we speak, and as we speak the truth into power, we say Ashe. Ashe speaking truth into power, which is us in this moment. As we sit here as descendants, as we breathe, as we be, and our beingness, we turn to each other and we say Ashe. We are the descendants of power because we are celebrating our lives and knowing that we are in power as we celebrate and uplift what it means to be love and we say ashe to love and as we go towards the future we look at our children and we look into their eyes and we see pure light and we see that they are inheriting this planet and we give thanks to our children when we say ashe ashe to the babies that are gathered here right now and all of the children everywhere on this continent and on all continents and we say ashe and we standing here present we standing here present push forth the agenda of love and life and living and determination and full determination of who we are in this moment which is love and we call love in and we say ashe and as we sit here and breathe and as we sit with the earth, we give thanks for the water, the water that is being poured right now on the earth. And that water, that sacred water that has transported our ancestors and all ancestors, ancestors of those who were captured and ancestors of those who were pressed. And we say, Ashe to the liberation and forgiveness of that energy, Ashe. And as we come here in our bodies, as we breathe deeply, we give thanks for the balance, for the harmony, for the celestial energies of the stars above us, for we are stardust and we are infinite. And we say Ashe. Ashe. We say Ashe to the infinite possibilities of who we are in our beingness. Let us hold hands. And in this moment, as we transition into the next part of our ceremony know that there will never be another configuration of beings in this place as it is right now in this moment and that we are opening a portal together as a community as we stand here in west oakland we are opening a portal of light because that is what this moment represents for everyone who is present you were just as much a part of this ceremony as anyone on this side of the shovels and I want you, within your heart, to give permission to be that being of light right now when saying Ashe. Ashe. And so it is. Aho, Amen, Ashe. Thank you so much.